Welcome to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show. And this time we actually have a really, really, really cool feature. This is something which we've been telling that is coming for a while. And I'm super excited actually that we, we are record, uh, in the status that we're able to record the video and it's actually ready to roll out pretty soon. Um, and this time uh, we kind of focus on, well, we're gonna combine Viva Connection dashboards with SharePoint across every single SharePoint site, which is really, really cool. But before we go there um, and we talk about all of that thing, my name is Cesar Yovanen. I'm a principal product manager in Microsoft 365. Uh, and today's, the real stars of today's, uh, today are Puya and Muhan. So uh, Puya, can you do a quick intro as who you are? And then we move into Muhan after that. Hi everyone, I'm Pooja. I've been working on the Viva Connections platform site where I've worked on releasing multiple out of the box cards. And this is the new type of feature that we are doing on the platform side where we are extending the Viva Connections dashboard to other sites and uh, pages. So really looking forward to seeing how it gets adopted from all of you. Yep. And Mohan, what about you? What is your background? You are the actual real uh, magician <laughs> who implemented this, right? Yeah. Uh, thanks for the intro, uh, Vesa. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Mohan. I am working in uh, Viva Connections platform team. I have worked in developing uh, many uh, features like uh, text import, search, data visualization. And right now, I'm currently working on bringing dashboard to all the sites in SharePoint. And now let's actually drill in a bit before the live demo. Let's talk about a bit about uh, the feature itself. So we're talking about getting the Viva Connection dashboard across all of the sites, but it's not really the dashboard from Viva Connection, isn't it? Uh, it's basically a Unix dashboard per site. Is that the case? Yeah. So ideally, we heard a lot of uh, uh, customers and users saying that our uh, we only have one dashboard, which is at the organization level. And individual teams within the organizations, it could be your HR team, it could be your IT department, they also were looking for something like a dashboard which they could host on their sites. So we just thought of taking that value out of the you know, main org site to other sites as well, and the individual teams could host their dashboards. So every site that is made now can have its own one dashboard file, and that can be their dashboard for the site. So it's the same experience as in Viva Connection or within the, the welcome site, the home site, but it's a unique instance of the dashboard. So you can right. actually configure that based on the, the requirement within a site. Um, and then Mohan, technical question. So this, this actually, this dashboard, does it support all of the different dashboard cards um, or is it, is it limited? So if I implement a 3P as in a custom SharePoint framework card, all of that works in this dashboard as well? Yeah, it should work. Basically, uh, it's not saying should. It will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will work. Okay, yes, uh, if it and... isn't working already, no, it's working. We are testing all of this stuff. Thank you, Mohan. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it should work. Uh, any any card which is in the app catalog uh, of the particular tenant should be available in this particular dashboard. Yes, so including the body cards, by, by including the card designers. Yes. Yes, including the card designer. So yeah. while creating the dashboard, uh, we'll have the toolbox, uh, which I'll demo in some time, where you'll have the option to select which cards uh, uh, that are available in the app catalog, along with the out of, along with the cards that uh, have been developed by Microsoft as 1P cards, yeah. or 3P cards, which have been developed by uh, the particular organization. Everything will be available. Cool. So that's the whole idea. We wanted, you know, developers who are doing cards for connections, they can reuse those cards. It's just not till connections, they can bring that value out. They can use it again on their local uh, site of the team where they're, they're working in particular for that particular yep. card use case. Yep, absolutely. This it really increases the value of those custom cards, which everybody yeah. has been, and a lot of people have been developing for Viva Connection as well. So now they can be actually used efficiently also in SharePoint side, which is super exciting. That's that's the key point why I'm super excited on this. Um, let's actually jump into a live demo with Muhan, uh, and then we can come back and talk about a bit about the, where we are, the timings, future roadmap, and all of that. But let's transition to the live demo and have a look on how it works. Thank you, Esa. Thank you, Esa. Let's consider a scenario where a company called Contoso has an IT help desk. Let's call the IT help desk TechWeb. And the administrator for this particular site is Alex Weber. And 
he has already built the entire site uh, configured everything but he wants to ensure that the site is much more impact uh, he wants to ensure that the site is much more interactive so he hears about this dashboard on sites feature and that's exactly what he needs now alex goes to the settings here he looks that there is manage dashboard option on which he clicks over here he finds an option to create a dashboard when he clicks on create a new dashboard is created for this particular site and voila a new dashboard has been created but what does uh, what can he add now so when we click on add card over here a toolbox opens where there are a bunch of cards that are available uh, in the app catalog as either 3p cards or 1p cards which are provided by microsoft are all present over here in the toolbox so for this particular scenario because this is an it help desk one thought that uh, can come up is a remote assist card so remote assist card over here so alex adds this particular card apart from this there are there would be frequent questions uh, about vpn issues about some vpn issues or device upgrade issues so on and so forth so if we can add some folder card right uh, which will contain the important documents in this particular site that will be really great so he adds a folder card which is a 1p card provided by microsoft and he selects the corresponding site which is tech in this case now alex also wants to show a playlist of all the of all the diy uh, videos that are present in this particular uh, it help desk site so he adds a 1p card which is stream playlist and he he selects the corresponding site and then adds the playlist now alex also wants to uh, there are a lot of questions on the webinars that are conducted by uh, the it help desk how do i how do we join them all those kind of things so alex finds it very useful to add the events card which is again a 1p card which is provided by microsoft so it lists all the events that are upcoming and are being driven by the it help desk lastly alex wants to add a list a graph card uh, a data visualization card which he has he has developed or his team has developed uh, which is a 3p card and added to the company's uh, app catalog and he finds it in the uh, toolbox and adds it so now the dashboard has been uh, now the dashboard has been completely set up so alex publishes the dashboard yes now that the dashboard has been set up how do i provide this dashboard to everyone for using it alex goes to home uh, the home page of the site he clicks on edit button and adds the dashboard web part as a section and voila he is able to see all the cards that he has configured in the dashboard now how does uh, alex edit it there is a control given to limit the number of cards that are being shown in this particular dashboard web part it can be 4 3 2 1 so on and so forth if the number of cards that are being shown over here are less than the actual number of cards a see all button is shown alex publishes the page and the dashboard web part is ready on my home home page note that this particular web part can be added on any site page with within this particular site yes. so any user can explore what is there in these cards by clicking on 
either the cards or the buttons that are available. So a quick view opens or the card actually redirects to the corresponding page. In this case, I have clicked on the playlist, which opens the set of videos that are there, OS upgrade issues, troubleshooting network issues, so on and so forth. There is also events card, which I click. It shows two events, one which is on tomorrow and the other which is on May 1st. And that's all. When someone clicks on the see all, they are redirected to the dashboard.aspx page. Now, you might wonder, how do I edit this dashboard in the future? It is via the same approach. Go to the settings gear, click on manage dashboard. And here you see a edit button instead of a create button. Clicking on this will take you to the dashboard.aspx where you can change the cards, reorder the cards, configure the cards, and do whatever you want. And this is how we are able to use dashboard on every site in SharePoint. Now, Mohan, a few questions before we go back on the on the from the screen sharing. If you can still stay in the in the screen sharing, so a few questions uh, on on this uh, experience. So, can I have multiple instances of this dashboard uh, in a site, or is it only one instance for now? Right now, one site has a single dashboard. So, one site, one instance of a dashboard. Yeah. Cool. But you That's can create good. multiple web paths. Yeah, you can create web paths on different pages. Yes, yes. So the web part can be added in a multiple page, uh, but it's always showing the same instance of the dashboard yes. within a web part. So yes. that's that's good to be aware uh, mm -hmm. as a, a current setup. Uh, uh, maybe in the future, based on the feedback, there might be other options as well. Now, let me actually move back in in into this discussion mode and talk about. Thank you, Mohan, for a great demo. So really, really cool uh, walkthrough on the feature and awesome to get this this available. Uh, because again, now those individual cards which have been in Viva Connection or implemented or designed and, and, and developed for Viva Connection can be exposed more efficiently across the SharePoint. Previously, this feature was only available in the home site, so only one site within a SharePoint. Now you can actually take advantage uh, of the dashboard in any SharePoint site. Yeah. Now, um, any any so we talked about already the potential future direction on multiple dashboards within a site. Again, feedback super important for people to to understand. Any other kind of a things uh, on this particular uh, feature or related features, what we're going to do in the future? Uh, there's lots happening, but <laughs> we are not in a position to share right now. We will wait for the feedback, and then users can wait for our public roadmap announcements to see what's coming yes. next. Yes. Now, what about timing? Uh, depending on OBS, when, when people are watching the video, it might be already fully released. Um, but um, as we're rolling out the video pretty early, uh, when are we expected this feature to be available? So we are expecting this feature to be available end of May for all the users. So we'll see when this uh, video reaches out to them or the feature, whoever comes yes. first. Yes, and it's end of May 2025 because we do yes. not know when the video is being watched. <laughs> uh, so it's just good to always remember. Now, um, I think that sums up uh, the video of today. So thank you, Puya, and thank you, Mohan. Uh, really, really cool uh, cool setup. And I'm actually super, super excited on this one So um, because it provides so much additional value for customers who've been investing on the setup. So thank you for great work, both. And of course, all of the designers and all of the people in Microsoft who've been involved in, in making this happen. But I guess that's it. Thank you, Mohan. Thank you, Puya. Really, uh, thank my you, pleasure everyone. to have you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.